Line Project at Neon. What is the Line Project? Announced by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the Line is a reimagined urban development linking the coast of the Red Sea to the mountains and upper valleys of northwest Saudi Arabia. The compact structure, 200 meters wide, represents a social and economic experiment. This linear city of the future is expected to decrease the country's dependence on oil reserves. It will only take 20 minutes to travel from one end of the city to the other through a high-speed rail line. A year and a half after the prince first announced his plan to build the city, he has now revealed the first glimpses of what the city will look like. It will operate independently from the rest of the country with different laws for workers and women's rights, as well as giving more freedom to visitors, such as the right to drink alcohol. The futuristic city will force the Hawatat tribe, who have lived in the area for hundreds of years, to relocate from the area. Up to 20,000 people could be forcibly removed from the area to make room for the project. The Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said, in a press release, quote, we cannot ignore the livability and environmental crisis facing our world cities, and Neom is at the forefront of delivering new and imaginative solutions to address these issues. Neom is leading a team of the brightest minds in architecture, engineering, and construction to make the idea of building upwards a reality, end quote. Plans for the 10,230-square-mile futuristic high-tech hub were first announced in 2017 as part of reforms aimed at creating jobs, encouraging foreign investment, and permitting new freedoms for Saudis steeped in religious puritism and state dependency. Neom is planned to stretch across the Tabuk region's border, with Jordan and will function as both a tourist destination and a smart city. The complex of Moroccan-style opulent buildings and palaces is planned to include helipads, a marina, and a golf course, and it will be lit by a giant artificial moon. So far, a few palaces and helipads are reported to have been built in Neom. So what do you guys think? Would you live in this futuristic type city? Let us know. Comment below. And we'll put your comments on a future episode. And don't forget, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Stay creepy. Fun fact. Neom is named after the Greek word for new and the Arabic for future. Update. As of today, the hyperbolic project has received backlash from the outset, attracting criticism for the unrealistic scope of its ambition, the suspect political aims and poor human rights record of its visionaries, and potentially negative ecological impact. Scrutiny heightened as construction began in October of 2022 when reports surfaced that the Saudi government had issued death sentences and lengthy prison sentences to six members of the Hawatit tribe, which has long inhabited the proposed site, for resisting their eviction. In May 2023, a group of United Nations appointed human rights experts issued a report outlining allegations of torture and other mistreatment involving the sentenced Hawatet people, warning the Saudi government of potential violations against international law. The first phase of the line was expected to house over a million residents. The reported downsizing of the project will cut its residential capacity to less than 300,000, a small fraction of the completed city's projected 9 million citizens, according to Bloomberg sources. The report also notes that at least one contractor has been dismissing some of the workers employed on the line's construction. 
the fate of Neom's other quote-unquote regions, which include the Oxagon, a floating industrial city, and the Trojina, a sprawling ski resort, are not yet known. However, the luxury island destination Sindala is expected to open this year. So what do you guys think about the line? Let us know, comment below, or email us at legendslorehauntings.more at gmail.com. Stay creepy.